Richard Southern joins us now for the top business stories of the day. And Richard, we're expecting a big announcement from the Bank of Canada tomorrow. Another rate decision. And of course, the bank's hike rates, what, 10 times in the past? 10 times, yeah. Yeah, a year and a half, year and two and half. years. Will we see another one? There's two people that are advising the bank, hey, don't hike. They are two Canadian premiers. Uh, Mr. Eby, the uh, British Columbia premier, has sent a letter to uh, Tip Macklem, the uh, governor of the Bank of Canada, urging against a rate hike tomorrow. You don't see this uh, political interference too much like this in the Bank of Canada, Tina. Yeah, it's interesting. Doug Ford, Ontario's premier, also sent a letter urging the bank not to hike. He talked about it during his press conference today. Take a look. I can't remember in, in living memory that uh, the Bank of Canada, or the governor, raised rates 10 times in 18 months. If we don't see the stop, people will lose their homes. Now, here's the thing. The Bank of Canada is an independent institution. It receives its mandate from the federal government. And right now, that mandate is to get inflation to 2%. The only uh, measure they have to do that is to hike interest rates. So their hands are really tied here. The bank not commenting on the letters. They have a, a blackout period before an interest rate decision. Having said all this, Tina, mm -hmm. most economists now are of the opinion that the bank will not be hiking tomorrow. Uh, the latest economic data we got in about the second quarter is that the Canadian economy is shrinking. That may have scared the bank off another rate hike. We'll see tomorrow. I know a lot of people are hoping that there's no hike tomorrow. So. Including you, because you got your mortgage you. coming up. Yeah, you know exactly. <laughs> All right, now, what's the best way to advertise your business? Perhaps it's by getting people to wear your logo, Richard. Case in point, Tim Hortons. They have launched a new online store, hoping you'll buy some Timmy's swag. Tina. It includes everything from loungewear bearing vintage Tim Hortons logos to crewnecks to even Timbit inspired outfits. Tim Hortons says the store will sell more merchandise uh, with co National Coffee Day coming up later this month. Uh, this is not the first time they have dabbled in clothing. You may recall they teamed up with Justin Bieber a year ago on a line of tote bags and hats and they sold like How did that cakes. do? I don't know. Do you want to be walking down the street with the Tim Hortons uh, logo on It you could know? be cool. You know, one influencer picks this up on TikTok and everyone's going to be wearing oh, these. It's a smart move by them. There's no question about that. <laughs> I, I wouldn't mind a Honey Cruller shirt because I, you know. I think it'd be kind of cool. Give me the Honey Cruller shirt. The Honey Cruller that. shirt. <laughs> all right. Now we've all been getting used to bringing a reusable bag to the grocery store. I have not gotten used not to it. Either. Um, but now we're going to have to bring them to the liquor store. Starting today, uh, no more paper bags at the LCBO. We knew wow. they were doing away with them. We didn't know when. Surprise, it's today. Uh, you'll have to uh, bring a reusable bag to the LCBO or buy one of their reusable ones. And I have a closet full I of them. I have a closet full of reusable bags now. This is the problem. Because I always go and I'm like, oh, I forgot, and I forgot to bring one of the 20 one. I have. Like, it's getting ridiculous. Anyways, the LCBO says it's going to divert... Um, 2,600 tons of waste from the landfill every year, save 188,000 trees. But you got to plan ahead if you're you picking really up a do. bottle these days. Keep them in the car. I refuse to buy a new one because I just don't have room for them anymore. <laughs> I know. I fall for it all the time. Yeah. Like, all right. I'll take one. I guess. All Add right. Thanks, Richard.